There are rumors that in the 18th century, Russian tycoon Akinfi Demidov came up with a strange entertainment. He offered ordinary peasants to live like him for a year, rolling in wealth, luxury, and twiddling their thumbs. Demidov invited the peasants to live in his palace, providing them with personal servants and all sorts of exquisite dishes. But there was one catch, though. They had to stay in bed all year without getting up even for a minute. Many people agreed, but eventually, no one could stand being in bed that long, and all the losers of the challenge were publicly punished. But the weirdest thing is that an experiment like that was done four centuries later by NASA scientists. But what for? I mean, we all know that a prolonged absence of activity can harm a person's health, as opposed to physical training. But is it really true? It's time you learned what happened to a test subject involved in the NASA project, why will sport lead you to social anxiety disorder, and most importantly, what's more harmful to a person, lying in bed or physical activity? You might ask, what could possibly go wrong with your body if you just keep lying in bed? It all depends on how long your carefree chill will last. In 2014, Drew Iwaniki volunteered for a NASA study where he was only required to stay in bed for 70 days straight, apart from half-hour lunch breaks. The guy agreed because they promised to pay him $19,000. But Drew didn't even know what could happen to his body in a state of total inactivity. The thing is, each week spent in bed will make you lose 1% of bone density and muscle mass. Especially, it concerns your hips and shoulders because you don't engage them like you used to. After only 10 days of bed rest, all the sugar not used by your muscles will start accumulating in the blood. It can lead to diabetes mellitus. By the second week, you'll start developing bed sores. Your thigh bone, coccyx, and ankle bones will push the same blood for too long, blocking blood flow and causing the soft tissues to die. After a month in bed, your heart will pump 30% less blood in one heartbeat. That's going to start oxygen deprivation in your body. You'll feel tired even though you've been lying all along. Do you know what the NASA subject Drew felt like after 70 days of the experiment? When his bed was finally tilted to the vertical position, the blood started rushing to his legs, expanding the veins that had become increasingly elastic throughout the past several months of bed rest. Drew's heart started to beat at 150 beats per minute, his skin became itchy, and he was all covered in sweat. And that's although Drew's health was under the control of doctors and nutritionists. I mean, he didn't actually sign up for torture. With his help, NASA aimed to learn more about how human bone and muscle might deteriorate in space and how to deal with it. But what will happen to a person who will lie in bed for much more than 70 days? This is what your day will look like if you've been in bed for a year. Morning. You're already awake because you didn't sleep at all. That's because you need physical exercise and outdoor walks. They improve the duration and quality of sleep. And if an average person is wide awake for just five days, they can start developing mental disorders and physical discomfort. You won't even be able to go to the bathroom because your knees are going to hurt. Constraining movement will exacerbate joint problems and affect your posture. I guess it'll be a good idea to adapt your bed a bit and carve a hole for your hump. If you're thirsty, you won't be able to remember what's in the bottles near your bed. Is that Fanta? or your messes that you decided to leave there without going to the bathroom. Physical exercise helps the brain form new neural connections. And if you lie on the couch, your memory will start to malfunction. You won't be able to remember what you did yesterday and today. However, it's no big deal because you were busy doing nothing. It's a good thing you don't have the energy to get to the jam jar to make yourself some toast. Well, I hate to break it to you but it looks like you have diabetes. 
running, and moderate intensity walking helps the body recycle carbohydrates. This reduces the risk of developing diabetes of the second type. But who cares about running if you've already started to suffer from obesity? You had an extra key made for the pizza delivery guy to bring your order right to the bed, because all your loved ones have turned their backs on you. What's next? That's right, you could feel depressed when the night rolls around. But the worst part is that you don't go out to get vitamin D from the sun. This way, you're putting yourself at risk of bronchial asthma, rickets, breast cancer, and even premature death. You might like it, though, because when you die, you'll keep doing what you love, lying down. It seems the only thing that can save you is active physical exercise. But is it really true? If you Google the phrase health and sport, you'll get numerous pictures of happy people, and not a single picture like this. Although that's what you're going to look like after excessive physical activity. You wake up to severe chest pain. Here's the thing, exhaustion from years of heavy endurance exercises can weaken your heart muscles. That's the way to get ventricular arrhythmia that makes your heart beat chaotically. Even though you eat healthy food, between meals you'll be drawn to all kinds of energy products. Bars, gels, drinks, and even candy. This way, you can also get diabetes of the second type. And the endurance exercises that you do every day can increase muscle oxygen consumption by more than 10 to 20 times compared to being at rest. This causes oxidative damage to muscles and other tissues, and then chronic systemic inflammation. And that's associated with medical conditions such as multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and premature aging. You'll always get the feeling that you aren't trying hard enough, so you'll keep increasing your physical loading. So your joints will wear out quickly, but you'll already be unstoppable. You may develop dysmorphophobia. It's a mental disorder that distorts the perception of your own body. It'll be followed by depression and even social anxiety. So what do we eventually get? It's just the same set of diseases as after spending too much time in bed. Then why not choose a less energy-intensive option and reap the benefits? 